Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. We are here at Pier 59 in New York City with Nancy Lee of Great Lengths USA. And she she does the coolest um, hair painting and people come up to you all the time and say, how do you do that? So she's going to tell you how to create these cool hair paintings using a template. Well, sometimes when you're painting, doing this freehand can be a little intimidating. So I figured this out. So what I did is I took a couple of pieces of paper and I taped them together. And then you could take either, um, I did this packing tape over the top of this, or you could take any type of clear like contact paper. So you have something, so you can actually reuse this. So I drew out my pattern, which is sort of loosely based on cubism, a little bit. And here, come on over this way. What you'll do is as you can see, I doubled our Great Links tapes, and I did have to paint them twice. Just hang on, let me see if I can get these in order again. All right, back this way. All right, so you would lay your hair out, and um, I'm not sure exactly where this belonged on this originally, but you lay your plain hair out, and as you can see through here, you can now go in and paint through onto your your um, palette here. Uh, the I use a lumen because what you see is what you get. So when you actually pour this out, this is a, a gold color. So when you pull this out, you can mix it with a little bit of water if you want to, but what you see is what you get. So that's the color you're gonna get. Um, instead of using a progressive color, I like to use something that actually shows up when you paint it. And then another tip is sometimes on these areas, I've taken the actual, the actual hair color and put it in a bottle and squirted it out onto the lines. The first time you shampoo it, it ends up looking a little bit lighter. I'll show you like this. But that actually is kind of nice. And then you can do it one more time and it'll end up with a lot more depth like this. You can go back and paint over it again. So after I paint it on here, I could just wipe this off and then I can reuse this again. So, so mystery solved because people yeah. have been asking me how you did your other plaid. And um, this one is beautiful. Oh my goodness, we just had the most beautiful shoot. And Nancy Lee, it was just amazing. Thank you for telling us about this. Thank we you. follow you at Nancy Lee Hair. Yes, and I am planning on making some videos on showing detailed step-by-step, -step, so I'll try to do that. So watch out for me ASAP. Now that I've said it, I have to do it. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and oh, Maggie, no, you again, thank you again for this amazing. If you guys ever get an opportunity to do any of the uh, Modern Salon uh, education, any of our shoots, just please do it. It changes your life. I've truly, I've truly grown from it. I've met so many amazing people. And um, I just, I, I just am overwhelmed and so grateful. So every time I talk to Nancy thank Lee, I, I'm fighting back tears. <laughs> so so well, you. no, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for giving us this tip of the day, and thank you, Great Lengths USA, because I know they sent a lot of hair for this. Right? Yes, Great. yes, yes, yes. So I'm using, I'm doing it to the best of my ability. So yes, <laughs> right, thank you. A lot. We'll see you. All right, bye. Bye.